Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to make a quick little video on my pressure washing trailer. So this is a cold water trailer, a five and a half gallon per minute, not an eight gallon per minute. Uh, it could take a eight gallon per minute, but um, I feel like this is perfect for what I need it to be. Uh, this is a Honda GX390 with a Comet RW5535 pump. This is a gear driven model and uh, this works perfectly fine for me. Um, I have it plumbed up to my buffer tank over here and my six and a half gallon fuel tank right here. Um, this is this trailer is five by eight. So it was a pretty small trailer, but I was still able to fit everything I need here. Um, so you got the pressure washer, uh, you got your garden hose and I have about 400 feet of pressure hose. Uh, I keep my surface cleaner in the back over here. I keep my boots over here. My little pressure can there. I mean, my pump sprayer. And yeah, so uh, let me just go over real quick on how I... Oh, let me dump all this water out real quick. So let me go over real quick um, how I plumbed this big... T uh, this. 275 gallon tank to the pressure washer uh, so this is just for this is just a buffer tank so this is not to transport water I can transport water I, but I can only fill it up to here that's for when I'm doing trash cans and stuff like that I'll just fill it up to here when I'm at home and just leave it be um, the reason why I can't transport it is because this trailer is not rated to tow over uh, 3,000 pounds I think because of the axles so it's really dangerous uh, to tow anything or tow water because water sloshes around and all that stuff so if you guys don't know that I, I recommend you do your do the research on your trailer before you start transporting water to job sites so um, all I did over here was I have my garden hose as you can see all it does is go in there it just goes in there and then I have as the water goes in it comes out through here and I, I usually wait until it gets up right about here and it just comes out from here and goes into my filter this is a one inch here this these are two inch pipes so it just goes in and my pressure washer draws the water um, if you don't know if you have one of these older I mean the these smaller pressure washers with the GX 390 of a little four gallon per minute direct drive it it will not have enough power to draw water so if you want to draw water and run from a buffer tank I do recommend you get at least five and a half gallons per minute from, from there it will draw water effortlessly so again it it comes in through here pressure washer uh sucks it in whatever and uh another important thing is to have your uh what is this called i forgot uh this hose so basically uh i'll just explain it so when you're when you're on the water when you're on pressure and you're holding it it's uh, the the pump is fine it's not getting overheated but the moment you let go and the water is just getting stuck in here there's nowhere for oh, it's called the unloader valve there's nowhere for the water to go so what you need to do is get an unloader valve like this one which basically when you let go of the pressure washer it recirculates the water so your pump doesn't get overheated it doesn't burn a pump basically so um that's basically how it goes and then I have a drain on the other side so when I'm done washing I just drain it from this side and uh, that's just a ball valve over here just open it up and two inch it drains real fast so the the way I oriented this trailer or the way I made it uh, the whole point the whole mindset was uh, I wanted to be able to get the fastest time from arriving at the job site to getting water down getting pressured water on the concrete 
Uh, I do mostly concrete washing. I do uh, a little bit of soft washing too, but I uh, haven't been getting into it lately. So um, if you want to do, if you want to look at this video for soft washing, uh, I don't have that those setups right now yet. Um, but anyways, so uh, like I said, I wanted to be able to finish my start my job as quickly as possible. So basically, all all I do is I take this hose out, I run it to the customer's hose bib, and screw it on, turn it on, and it starts pumping water in there and as soon as that happens you know i go on my i go around the property with my little pump sprayer and i just start spraying my pre-treatment on the concrete and by the time i'm done the water is usually already reached right around this level so right when i'm done with that all i do is take out however much uh, pressure hose i need uh, i reel it out disconnect it from the hose connect it over here and I'm ready to go and the reason why I did that the reason why I didn't plumb it um, I do have a pigtail here but the re I, I used to have it plumbed but the reason why I didn't plumb it was uh, two reasons um, the way I, I used to downstream was I used to just connect the downstreamer over here and that was how I did it uh, the other reason is the there when you when you route uh the pressure hose reel directly from the pressure washer in my opinion is just more things that can break uh if, if you just use the reel as a reel uh it, i mean it really there's no way it can break and it just lasts longer so uh i just didn't want to deal with that headache um i used to have this on a stand and i mean the the whenever i let go of the pressure this thing would just shake and rattle and things were starting to bend th things were starting to break so i just i mean i completely ditched that idea it's still just as fast when i r take out you know let's say i'm doing i'm just doing a driveway i'll just take out 100 feet plug it in and you know there's no excess or anything i just take out 100 feet start washing and i'm good um there's really nothing much to it all, all i use this for is a reel so yeah so that's basically uh my entire trailer this is really simple so let me go over pricing real quick this is this was twenty five hundred dollars um this reel right here these two reels in total were probably about three hundred dollars uh plus the hoses i'll bring it about eight hundred dollars for all all this whole setup right here so where are we at we are at three thousand three hundred uh the gas tank was about a hundred thirty four hundred and the water tank came with the trailer the trailer was fourteen hundred so we're at forty eight hundred and this uh i just got the service cleaner for like two hundred bucks uh, locally and yeah so that's basically like right around five grand for a nice uh trailer everything's um it's really nice uh, i also have this plugged into a battery as you can see uh, i just route the battery uh, here's all the wiring and i just route it into a container right here as you can see there's a hole right there and i just route it in there uh, i am going to get a battery box in the future but I, I don't really need it right now but yeah so that's uh basically it for around five grand you can start pressure washing and uh pressure washing efficiently is what i mean because um i you know i used to run this business with the four gallon a minute and in my opinion it's just not as efficient as running it with a five gallon per minute you'd rather just spend the money and spend the money and work efficiently so you can work faster and make more money and um that's basically it really simple not really uh too complicated uh one thing though i do regret is getting a tank this big um if i could i would just get around you know 100 gallon 60 gallon tank and that would be enough but yeah so i hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video hope this helped you out if it did please like and subscribe thank you thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel 
to see more do-it-yourself videos like these and support my channel. Thank you.